season four, episode 12, Leonard Betts, not Leonard Getz. Leo, Leo Getz. Getz. <laughs> <laughs> Leo is probably short for Leonard. That's why I so, said yeah. it. Lena, Leonard, Leonard Getz. Getz. Whatever you want, Leonard Getz. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, anybody who has n has never seen a Lethal Weapon film is like, what the hell are these guys <laughs> talking about? Joe Pesci's character um, in Lethal Weapon 2. All right, so we have got um, Leonard Betts is played by the actor who plays that dude who gets hit by the freaking van, like the truck or van or whatever in RoboCop. That's how I always know him. Uh, as soon as I saw him, I was like, hey. And we just saw a guy from RoboCop, like, what? Uh, four or five ago? episodes ago. Oh, yeah. Well, I maybe it wasn't five episodes ago. Was but it, it was long? it was with it, it was in this season, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think you're right. Um, so, yeah, anyway. Uh, so, we get a car accident here because an ambulance driver is... I get it. Like, she's distracted because he's diagnosing a guy. Now, okay. He's diagnosing, like, cancer in... A patient without having any way of really diagnosing it so I'm not really sure how this works exactly I don't know like if he can sense cancer and like kind of where it's at in the body that I could probably buy but the fact that he knows that it's eaten an entire lung and that it's you know, working on the other one. I don't see, like, does he have x-ray vision? Like, yeah, what is it? I think he can see, I think he literally can see the cancer inside people. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And it makes sense that she would be distracted because it's, like, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty incre yeah. incredible. And, yeah, unfortunately, she, like, turns her head to look back at him and gets, like, as she's going through an intersection as an ambulance and then gets, like, hit by another car in for this horrible wreck and Leonard Betts gets decapitated. Sure does. And uh, she just kind of walks away with some scratches on herself. Now, if Leonard never gets hurt, does he keep shedding his yes. skin? Yeah, yes. right? Okay. He, like, basically is cancer. Right. So he's constantly just growing new cells and, like, growing a new him inside of himself. So even if he doesn't die... His outer shell is a he's cocoon. Gr he's, yeah. Yeah. This guy dies a lot. He dies a lot He's he's, he's lucky that uh, he has these, like, nine lives because uh, most of us, you know, most of us peasants who haven't evolved like Leonard, you know, we, get, we gotta be safe. We gotta be careful with our lives. He can do whatever he wants, and it's just like, reset. Yeah, I mean, he cuts off his thumb in this. He but he's not even regrows being... Regrows a head. And... He's not being, like, dangerous with his life. He doesn't become reckless until basically this episode when people are trying to catch him. Yeah. And that's just in an effort to get away. But like you were saying when we were watching this, so I guess I don't really know if he, like, if he can just find cancer in people and yeah. if he's taking it out of them without killing them, that he's doing a wonderful work. But I think he's killing the people. If it's like cancer in their, you know, in a spot that they that he can't just remove it, like their brain or like whatever. I mean, he works at a hospital. I mean, he There's takes it out of his waste. mom. His mom has breast cancer. I don't know how he much he needs. Removes it from her. Right? Like, how much does he need? Does I don't he know. need like he needs to eat like we do? It seems like, like three he three meals to eat a, a day, lot. and uh, he snacks in between. So. Even if that was the case, he just needs to work in an oncology ward and go down to that medical waste area. I guess he could work as anything. He work as a fucking janitor in the hospital as long as he can get to that that huge pile of discarded body parts and and uh, you know medical think, waste. I don't think janitors have access to that, but yeah, his uh, his partner, the um, EMT partner that he has, is like I always told him he should work in like he should become an oncologist or something. And it's like, yeah, why doesn't he just do that? But he does seem to like saving people. Yeah. Because, like, even after he's dead, when he, like, comes back and is trying to be an EMT at the same hospital, which I don't really understand 
how he's just like gets hired and starts doing that work all over again. Uh, you know, he hears something on a call yeah, and answers them and gives them like, it sounds like your patient has this, like you should do this and this. And he's not even there and he can't necessarily tell that they have cancer or anything. So he's just like, like a medical genius in some ways. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it would be that hard to come across cancer, especially in this day and age, but like I mean, hospital, he'd have unlimited access to it. And that's why he works in the hospital, so that he can go down there and grab it. I think the only reason that he cuts it out of people in this episode is because he's desperate. Mm. And people are looking for him, and he doesn't have time to go down into, the, like, the medical waste bins and grab them. I don't, I don't think he's killed anyone up till this point. I don't mm -hmm. think that that's happened. Like, he killed the girl who came and talked to him. Because he doesn't want people to know his secret. Yeah. He cuts it out of his mom, but does so that so that she can live. Um, but he does kill one person specifically to cut the cancer out of them. Um, and then, of course, we get the huge reveal of this episode that he wants what Scully has, which, of course, means that Scully has cancer, which then, of course, ties into the fact that she had that thing removed from her neck. And the person who had that thing removed from her neck that she came across along with that whole group, that gaggle of abductees. Yeah, they They, died. Uh, they said that you're going to die, that uh, every one of us uh, eventually dies from this thing. And I'm, I can only assume that was, I think they said it was cancer in there. Yes, they did. Right. Yeah. Um, this episode, too, is cool for Scully because she sees like she's doing an autopsy on his head and his head starts to move yeah and she gets really freaked out by it well, opens his eyes and his mouth and is like talking and, and she's like his mouth and his eyes she's freaked out by it for well, sure yeah. and it's it's funny because um Mulder's just like he moved like his head's alive like you sound like you're not sure that he's dead and she's like no <laughs> I'm not saying that he's dead <laughs> Well, yeah, and then he calls her out being like, you're avoiding cutting into it because you think it's still alive. Yeah. And she's like, ridiculous. Oh, there's there's definitely a lot of, like, back and forth. This is this is probably the most Scully's ever thought Mulder was full of shit in an episode because I mean, she's yeah. just like, every time Mulder suggests anything, she's like, Mulder, I don't even know how to respond to that. I mean, he literally is like, there's a headless body walking around like she's like no it's not it's not happening yeah um i mean i get it it would be a hard I, yeah, sell to it anybody would. and you know but it's 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 a good good episode for them you know when they find out that oh he died six years ago or whatever and they exhume his body and it's him and the exact same burnt corpse that's next to the other yeah burnt corpse. and he's like well the real leonard betts please stand up <laughs> Was that Slim Shady song out by that point? It <laughs> I don't has know. To have been, I guess right? it is. It was I love ninety six. I love that quote though, and I've seen yeah. that. I've seen that clip in um, a lot of like TikToks and stuff. It's funny. I think that was a saying before Slim Shady, though. It probably was. I can't remember where it's from, but comments below. What? what yeah. Where did that come from before uh, Eminem? Um, and and was the Eminem song before or after this? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know when. I kept thinking of the song Heart Shaped Box by Nirvana. Uh, while we were watching this, of course, because of the line, I, won't, I wish I could eat your cancer when you turn black. Mm. Um, and um, he dips himself in iodine yeah, to, uh, like to grow his head back, grow. which I'm not really understanding this either. Like, yes, he's cancer, I guess, and can grow back his own limbs and all of that, whatnot grows back a thumb, grows back a I head, think but... the iodine is, like, sterilizing No, him. that's not what I was going to ask. No. Um, Does he have to breathe? Because he's under that freaking water. He's that, holding his breath. You think? Yeah. He's, he's under there a long he, like, time. He, like, draws in a breath when he comes out. To be fair, and though... And there's bubbles that come up right before he rises. To be fair, he's living without a head for a while. That's true, yeah. How's he taking in oxygen then? And here's another question. Is he growing back a head? Or is the head already deep inside of him? And I, when it gets knocked off, it just pops back up. And if you were to cut off that brand new head, yeah, 
Is there like a little, okay, so is this the way it works where like it starts in the center and he's like this big and then he grows outwards until he finally like busts through the outside? I think they're like rushing nesting dolls. Because he like, because he like comes out his mouth. Yeah. Right? That's how we see it in there is, is he bursts through his own mouth. But where would a head like hide? Yeah. Like underneath a head, like you can't. Hide an entire your whole body inside your whole body. One doesn't fit hmm. inside one. That doesn't work. Oh yeah, work. it's like Russian nesting dolls. But it has to There's, grow at an yeah. exponential rate yeah. in order for it to burst through you. I think it gets to a point where it starts to like grow. Because it would slowly come out of you over a period of time. Yeah, I think it starts to grow really fast. So you would have it would have to get to a certain growth point and then just exponentially speed up. Yeah. It'd have to get, like, to this big, like, a like, guy this big inside of you. And he can, like, feel it, and he's like, ah. This, of course... I don't know. I don't know how it really works. This, of course, reminds me of the Jesse scene in Nightmare on Elm Street 2 in Grady's bedroom when he rips out of Jesse's body. Um, how Jesse keeps coming back after his body's been destroyed, I'll never know. It never makes any sense to me. Um, and then he comes out of Freddy's body at the end of, of the movies, so... Yeah. They, they keep coming in and out of each other's bodies. That sounds sexual. It doesn't yeah. mean to be. It might be. Uh, although with Jesse, you never know. Um, and, uh, yeah, he... Uh, so the first death was faked? No. Or he just uh, he died, too. There, he burned up in a car accident. Had a car this guy accident. is... Cars are dangerous. This guy is... I mean, isn't it, like... Clumsy. I wonder if you're more likely to die from a car than from cancer. Probably. You think he was just being yeah, reckless because he's like, I can't die? No. Or do you think he was just like trying to be safe? I don't think he he's just reckless. keeps dying. But then he doesn't A die. part of him has to know, like, I, I'm good. I can do whatever I want. Yeah, but and there's a I don't think more. he, because he doesn't want to get caught because that causes complications. Yeah. So. But when you're young, you're dumb. But he only died one time before this and he stayed in the same town. So this doesn't happen like a ton of times and he's just like hanging around. Yeah. So, I don't know. You like the scene where Scully makes Mulder dig through the medical waste yeah. with her? Yeah, it's really funny. He's like, I don't think we need to, I don't think we need to do that. She's like, I need your help, Mulder. Your arms are longer. He's just like. Find your head. <laughs> he's so grossed out by it. That's a great scene because Scully is very much the medical doctor and that. Like, obviously it's gross, but she's like you know, in her doctor mindset, and Mulder is not. not she at all. says, like, oh, we're in luck. It hasn't, it looks like yeah. it hasn't been emptied in a couple days. That was a couple days yeah, of medical waste? How many lot. surgeries are they doing <laughs> there? Know. Holy I don't know. shit, that thing was like. It was a, like full. It was like a maybe dumpster like, full. Maybe it's like five days. I don't know. That's don't crazy. Know. That's crazy if that's true. If that's like a few days in a hospital with like body parts and tumors and everything cut it off. It probably people. isn't that much unless you're yeah, in like a busy much. like hospital in the metropolitan area. Or it can't something. be that much. But even then there would be like other places. So I don't know. So you think like Leonard watches like those um, those shows on TV where people have like these huge cancerous growths on him. And he's like, he's, I'm so hungry. He's like looking at it like it's Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> like when you yeah. watch like people cook on TV and you're like, mmm. Yeah. Yummy. Probably. They, you think different like cancers taste different? Uh, maybe. <laughs> what are these questions? <laughs> As though there's an answer. <laughs> we need to get Leonard Betts on the on here. He ain't dead. Yeah, he's not. There's no way. Um, so anyway, yeah. Uh, that's that. All right. All right. Leonard Betts. Yeah, big episode just because uh, Scully has cancer. I mean, that's massive. And yeah. how she handles it in the next episode, boy oh boy. Which is a good bleed over, right? Like a lot of these, a lot of the times, these like Dude, monster of the week episodes are disconnected. But this one and the next one are very closely related. Even though she never mentions anything about her cancer, anything in that episode, but it it's all it could be. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So anyway, or she's just on her period. No, it's not that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Bye. bye.